Joining a talk about that and a lot more is Senator Angus King, an independent from Maine who sits on the Intelligence Committee. And I'll start with that, Senator. Should Congress renew or revise uh, the sections of the Patriot Act that allow the NSA collection of these phone records? I, I think the key word you used was uh, revised, Dana. It, it should be reformed, but it also should not be lost altogether. It strikes me as ironic at a time when risks are escalating, when we face kind of lone wolf terrorists here in the United States that we're talking about unilaterally disarming in effect in terms of our intelligence capability. I've been one that's argued in the Intelligence Committee and in the in the Senate for reforming this program to protect privacy rights, but I think uh, scrapping it all together would be a, a huge mistake and we'd be back here in months or a year and people would there be an attack and people would say, you know, where were you uh, when we could have done something to prevent this? And just as Congress is uh, known to do lately, we are right up against the deadline uh, for these uh, provisions to expire June 1st. But not only that, Senator, look at this. The Justice Department sent a, sent a memo just today talking about the fact that this could pose problems tomorrow, May 22nd, saying after May 22nd, 2015, the National Security Agency will need to begin taking steps to wind down the bulk telephone metadata program in anticipation of a possible sunset in order to ensure that it does not engage in any unauthorized collection or use of the metadata, meaning uh, you, you guys basically have to get your stuff together uh, in the next 12 hours or these programs could begin to unwind. What do you think about yeah, that? We, well, we had a briefing on that earlier in the week and that was the expectation that we had and it's uh, you know, frankly, uh, it's disappointing to me that we're here we are at the deadline. I guess the only excuse is, you know, which among us, who among us did our book report before Sunday night. But, mm -hmm. you know, this is serious stuff. And we've known about this deadline for years. And th this should have been taken care of a long time ago. But here we are. And I think the problem now is that uh, I don't think that there are enough votes for the USA Freedom Act, which is the, the bill that essentially passed the House. Uh, so we've got to try to find the votes for a short-term extension. There are discussions going on uh, that I think can be productive that could uh, we could reach some consensus on, but it's going to take some time. And uh, that's uh, but right now it's anybody's guess where the votes are. Can you give us a, a little bit of an insight into what those discussions are about? Where you're focusing on a potential compromise? Well, I can tell you my problem. Uh, I've always been one that's been uncomfortable with all of this data being held by the government, even though there are a lot of protections and a lot of uh, standards and very few people have access to it. It just makes me nervous that the government has this big trove of data. And so I've always been one that felt it should be put either in an independent third party or left with the phone companies. That's what the Freedom Act would do. The problem with the bill that the House passed is that there's no limit on the, on the data retention by the phone company so they could say well we're only going to keep it two weeks or a month or six weeks and then it's of no intelligence value so that's the sticking point and that's where we're trying to find some uh, areas of compromise I want to turn to what you voted on in the last uh, hour or so, which is uh, the ability to give the president, or I guess maybe technically Congress, a trade promotion authority. You voted against that. Uh, before I ask you about that, I want to play for you what the president said, because President Obama is very much for it. Listen to this. I would not be promoting uh, any agreement that I didn't think, you know, at the end of the day, was going to be creating jobs in the United States and giving us more of an opportunity to create ladders of success, higher incomes and higher wages for the American people. This is a president who obviously uh, you support saying that he is in favor of this because he thinks it will help Americans with jobs, but you voted against it. Why? Well, I can remember saying in my campaign two years ago when people said, do you support the president? And I said, I'll support him when I think he's right and I'll oppose him when I think he's wrong. On this one, I haven't conv been convinced that he's right. Uh, the fun Here's, it, it's very simple, Dana. I, Dana, I don't know how I go back to Maine and look at a worker or a small manufacturing company and say, you're supposed to compete even up with a company in Vietnam that doesn't have the Fair Labor Standards Act, no minimum wage, no EPA, no OSHA, none of those protections, and yet, and they pay their people 60 cents an hour, but you've got to compete with them. 
I can't make that argument with a straight face, and nobody has yet satisfied me that, that there are sufficient protections in place to, to, to really protect American jobs. I just don't think the, the argument is there. Sure, it's going to help some companies. It's going to help some of the companies that operate all over the world. But when you talk about American manufacturing, uh, this has been the heart of the middle class. It's been the heart of what's propelled this country. And I just think uh, we shouldn't be uh, giving it away. Well, I should say, despite the real split uh, in the Democratic caucus in this vote uh, just about an hour or so ago, the uh, supporters uh, were able to overcome a filibuster with just two votes right. to spare. So it looks like it's heading toward approval in the Senate, but then we have to see what happens in the House. So uh, we'll see if, you're, right. if your position prevails. Senator Angus King, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. Always a pleasure. You too.